Hello friend, good afternoon and good evening, good morning, depending on the part of the world where you're watching this and depending on what time it is that you might be watching uh, this series. Uh, you know, I wanted to speak to you about being a dreamer, being a dreamer. You know, that is something that is very wonderful, something that is uh, beautiful, but you see, it's always dangerous to dream and dream in isolation. Did you hear what I said? It's dangerous to dream in isolation. Because when you begin to dream in isolation, you know, you begin to wonder exactly, is it okay to dream? Is it okay what I'm doing? And so the only way you can cure that is, number one, by surrounding yourself with other dreamers very important surrounding yourself with other dreamers people that are dreaming people that are looking forward to achieving something people that are, are, are looking forward to being the next big thing and this is what it to do for you number one when you begin to you know to you surround yourself with other dreamers hey it motivates you it motivates you yes because it, it just brings that energy from the inside of you it brings that excitement from the inside of you where you begin to feel like wow you know if other people can dream i can dream too that is wonderful so number one it motivates you because it brings what i call inner strength out of you very very important and number two it will make you feel normal <laughs> Yes, I said it to make you feel normal because there are times when dreamers feel like they are not okay. There are times when dreamers begin to question themselves, is it okay to dream? Because you are always in isolation. But once you are around people that can dream like you are dreaming, oh man, it makes you feel like, hey, in fact, I'm normal. <laughs> I'm all right because other people are dreaming. Why? Because other people may have wilder dreams than you do, bigger dreams than you do. And so you feel like, wow, it is okay to dream. So that is the second thing. It makes you feel normal to dream. And number three, it makes you work hard. Yes, you heard me right. It makes you work hard. In other words, it pushes you from just dreaming to a place where you begin to do something so that it's no longer just a dream, but it becomes a reality. You know, when you're surrounding yourself with, uh, with other dreamers, they motivate you, they make you feel that you're normal. The next thing is that you begin to take action. Because you begin to realize that it's not just enough to dream. It's okay to dream. It's okay to talk about your dream. But most importantly, it's okay to get out there and do something. You know, so it is very, very important. Dream on, brother. Dream on, sister. But remember, find yourself a dreamer's club. <laughs> I call it a dreamer's club. Find yourself a club where people are dreaming. People are talking about the future. People are positive about where they're going. They see great things ahead of them. They want to achieve great things ahead of them. It won't be long. You know, that dream in the inside of you will be like a kicking baby that wants to come out and you begin to do something about it. You know, let me say this finally. You know, it is very important. Don't blame others for not having dreams. But we can blame you. Yes, I say, we can blame you for not surrounding yourself with people that are dreamers. So they can motivate you, so they can lift you up, so that they can make you feel that you are okay as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend, Pastor Tony, and I hope you go out there and have a triumphant day as you dream. Remember, dreaming is free. God bless you, and I will see you next time.